After discovering an exoplanet LHS 475b and two exoplanets that are classified as super-Earths, the James Webb Telescope made a new giant discovery of a planet very much similar to Earth. So, as we told you in previous videos, in September 2022, NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, or TESS, with the help of the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, finally confirmed the discovery of the Earth-sized planet, which was a great achievement in itself. But now, JWST detected a similar planet, which is very beautiful. The James Webb Space Telescope also has identified the atmospheres of this planet, which is not possible with other telescopes, and now it has opened up new possibilities and data that scientists are excited about. But what if our search for new worlds leads to something far more sinister than we ever could have imagined? What if the exoplanets we are finding are not only inhospitable to life, but downright deadly? The recent discovery of LHS 475b, a rocky exoplanet as hot as Venus, and the in-depth new analysis of WASP-39b's atmosphere have raised some serious concerns about what we may find as we continue our exploration of the cosmos. So, let's explain how the James Webb Space Telescope made a new discovery of a new Earth-like planet and why scientists are stunned with what they have found. So, the Milky Way galaxy is home to our solar system and is estimated to be around 13.6 billion years old. Its history is an intricate web of astronomical events, from the formation of stars and planets to the emergence of life. Scientists have studied the Milky Way for centuries, piecing together the puzzle of its origins and evolution. The earliest stages of the Milky Way's formation are still the subject of intense study and debate among scientists. Most agree that it began as a cloud of gas and dust, slowly collapsing under its own gravity to form the first stars. This process is known as gravitational collapse, and it is thought to have taken place around 13.6 billion years ago, shortly after the Big Bang. Over time, these stars began to fuse hydrogen atoms into helium, releasing energy in the process. This energy caused the stars to shine brightly, heating up the surrounding gas and dust and triggering the formation of even more stars. As the number of stars grew, they began to orbit each other, creating the first galactic structure. As the Milky Way continued to evolve, it has undergone many changes over its long history. It has collided with other galaxies, and its stars have moved in and out of its spiral arms. Some stars have even been flung out of the galaxy altogether, becoming rogue stars that wander the void of interstellar space. While studying the Milky Way, scientists utilized the James Webb Space Telescope from NASA and were able to determine the temperature of TRAPPIST-1b, which is a rocky planet outside of our solar system, and NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has achieved yet another milestone by providing us with the molecular and chemical composition of the atmosphere of a far-off planet named WASP-39b. This is a remarkable accomplishment that adds to our understanding of the universe and its vast array of celestial bodies. Webb, along with other space telescopes such as Hubble and Spitzer from NASA, have previously given us glimpses of the components that make up the atmosphere of this scorching planet. However, the latest observations from Webb provide us with a comprehensive list of atoms, molecules, and even signs of ongoing chemical reactions and cloud formations. It's like having a complete menu to understand the complex nature of this distant world. The most recent information also provides us with an idea of how the clouds on this planet may appear if we were to observe them up close. The data suggests that the clouds are not a solid, continuous layer, but instead appear to be fragmented and scattered over the planet. The James Webb Space Telescope used its advanced and sensitive instruments to focus on the atmosphere of WASP-39b, a type of planet known as a hot satin. This planet has a similar mass to Saturn, but orbits much closer to its star than Mercury does our own Sun. WASP-39b is situated about 700 light years away from us. The discoveries made by the James Webb Space Telescope are promising, as they demonstrate the potential of its instruments to carry out a wide range of investigations on various exoplanets, which is a goal shared by the scientific community. This includes studying the atmospheres of smaller, rocky planets like the ones found in the TRAPPIST-1 system. We observe the exoplanet with multiple instruments that, together, provide a broad swathe of the infrared spectrum and a panoply of chemical fingerprints inaccessible until this mission," said Natalie Battaglia, an astronomer at the University of California, Santa Cruz, who contributed to and helped coordinate the new research. Data like these are a game-changer, 
a collection of groundbreaking findings has been described in a group of five scientific papers, with three of them already accepted for publication and two of them currently being reviewed. These papers present exciting new insights into the atmosphere of the planet in question and demonstrate the potential of the James Webb Space Telescope to provide us with even more valuable data about celestial bodies in the future. One of the groundbreaking discoveries made by the James Webb Space Telescope is the detection of sulfur dioxide, SO2, in the atmosphere of an exoplanet for the first time. This molecule is formed due to chemical reactions that occur as a result of high-energy light from the star around which the planet orbits. On our own planet, a similar process produces the protective ozone layer in the upper atmosphere. This is the first time we see concrete evidence of photochemistry chemical reactions initiated by energetic stellar light on exoplanets, said Shang Min Tsai, a researcher at the University of Oxford in the United Kingdom and lead author of the paper explaining the origin of sulfur dioxide in WASP-39b's atmosphere. I see this as a really promising outlook for advancing our understanding of exoplanet atmospheres with this mission. This achievement also marked another milestone. Scientists were able to use computer models of photochemistry to explain the data collected by the telescope. This process requires a deep understanding of complex physical phenomena, and the success of the endeavor has led to improvements in our ability to model the behavior of exoplanet atmospheres. This development is crucial in our efforts to detect potential signs of habitability on these distant worlds in the future. According to Battaglia, the planets undergo significant changes and are shaped by their proximity to the radiation emitted by the star they orbit. These transformations are crucial for the survival and prosperity of life on Earth. The fact that the planet is situated very close to its host star, approximately eight times closer than the distance between Mercury and the Sun, presents us with an excellent opportunity to study the impact of stellar radiation on exoplanets. This knowledge will enable us to develop a deeper understanding of the complex interactions between stars and planets and how they contribute to the incredible diversity of planets that we observe in our galaxy. In order to observe the light from WASP-39b, the James Webb Space Telescope tracked the planet as it transited in front of its host star. This allowed some of the star's light to pass through the planet's atmosphere. The various chemicals in the atmosphere have unique absorption patterns that selectively remove certain colors from the starlight spectrum. By analyzing the colors that are missing, scientists can determine which molecules are present in the planet's atmosphere. By using infrared light, the telescope can detect chemical signatures that are not visible in the visible spectrum of light, enabling us to gain a better understanding of the composition of distant worlds. The James Webb Space Telescope has also detected other elements in the atmosphere of the planet, including sodium, Na, potassium, K, and water vapor, H2O. These observations not only confirm earlier findings from both ground and space-based telescopes, but also provide additional evidence of water in the planet's atmosphere that hasn't been observed before at these specific wavelengths. In addition to other elements, the James Webb Space Telescope also detected carbon dioxide, CO2, in the planet's atmosphere. The higher resolution of the instrument provided us with twice as much information as previous observations. Although carbon monoxide, CO, was detected, there were no apparent signatures of methane, CH4, or hydrogen sulfide. H2S in the data collected by the telescope. If these molecules are present, they exist in very low concentrations. These findings contribute to our understanding of the chemical composition of exoplanet atmospheres and suggests that the search for life on distant planets may be more complex than initially thought. To obtain a comprehensive view of the atmosphere of WASP-39b, a large team of international scientists, numbering in the hundreds, analyzed data from four of the James Webb Space Telescope's finely tuned instrument modes independently. We had predicted what the telescope would show us, but it was more precise, more diverse, and more beautiful than I actually believed it would be, said Hannah Wakefield, an astrophysicist at the University of Bristol in the United Kingdom, who investigates exoplanet atmospheres. The comprehensive list of chemical compounds present in the atmosphere of an exoplanet provide scientists with a unique perspective on the abundance and ratios of various elements, including carbon to oxygen and potassium to oxygen ratios. This information can provide us with valuable insights into the processes that lead to the formation of this planet, as well as other planets that share similar characteristics. 
By analyzing these ratios, we can develop a deeper understanding of how planets form from the gas and dust disks that surround young stars. Based on the chemical makeup of the atmosphere of WASP-39b, it is believed that the planet's formation involved a series of collisions and mergers of smaller celestial bodies, known as planetesimals. Over time, these impacts led to the creation of a larger, more massive planet. The abundance of sulfur relative to hydrogen indicated that the planet presumably experienced significant accretion of planetesimals that can deliver these ingredients to the atmosphere, said Kuzumasa Uno, a UC Santa Cruz exoplanet researcher who worked on web data. The data also indicates that the oxygen is a lot more abundant than the carbon in the atmosphere. This potentially indicates that WASP-39b originally formed far away from the central star. The precise and comprehensive analysis of an exoplanet's atmosphere using the James Webb Space Telescope's advanced instruments has surpassed the expectations of scientists. These findings represent a significant milestone in our exploration of the vast and diverse array of exoplanets in our galaxy. The telescope's capabilities hold the potential for further discoveries that could enhance our understanding of the universe and the planets that exist beyond our solar system. We are going to be able to see the big picture of exoplanet atmospheres, said Laura Flagg, a researcher at Cornell University and a member of the international team. It is incredibly exciting to know that everything is going to be rewritten. That is one of the best parts of being a scientist. Furthermore, NASA has made an exciting announcement about a recent discovery. Researchers have spotted a new exoplanet that closely resembles Earth using the James Webb Space Telescope. A recently found planet has been given the name LHA-475b, and according to NASA, it's very similar in size to Earth. In fact, it has a diameter that is 99% the size of Earth's. The discovery of this planet was made by two researchers named Kevin Stevenson and Jacob Lustig-Yuga, who worked at the Applied Physics Laboratory of John Hopkins University in Laurel, Maryland. Lustig-Yuga stated with confidence that the planet's existence is beyond doubt, as the data collected by the Webb telescope is incredibly accurate and provides solid evidence. According to Lustig-Yuga, JWST has identified atmospheres of various planets, which are small stars. The fact that it is also a small, rocky planet is impressive for the observatory, Stevenson said. The research team has started preparation for another observation of the exoplanet using JWST as it was planned for this summer. The findings of this research demonstrate the remarkable capabilities of the JWST in helping us understand exoplanets. This is an exciting time for exoplanet research, and as Lustig Yerka stated, we are uncovering the full potential of what can be achieved with JWST. According to Mark Lampin from NASA, this newly found planet could potentially offer numerous opportunities to study the atmospheres of rocky planets in the visible range of the Webb telescope. This discovery has opened up exciting possibilities for future research in this area. Clampin expressed his excitement about the possibilities that lie ahead for the Webb telescope. He said that the telescope is helping us gain a better understanding of exoplanets that resemble Earth and that we are only scratching the surface in terms of what we can learn. The mission has just begun and we can expect to discover even more fascinating things in the future. At this point, it's hard to determine whether there is any life on the newly discovered planet, LHA-475b. Scientists are still in the early stages of understanding the planet and are yet to determine if it even has an atmosphere. Erin May from Johns Hopkins University explained that the telescope is incredibly sensitive and can detect various molecules, but it's still too soon to draw any definite conclusions about the planet's atmosphere. As per the researchers, the temperature on the planet is a bit higher than Earth by a few hundred degrees. If they discover clouds around the planet, it may be more similar to Venus which has a carbon dioxide atmosphere. This all comes after the James Webb Space Telescope, which was launched a little over a year ago, has made an incredible discovery when it detected its first rocky exoplanet, called LHS-475b, which is an Earth-sized planet that's as hot as Venus. This planet is located in the constellation Octins and is just 41 light years away from our planet. During the 241st meeting of the American Astronomical Society held in Seattle, Astronomer Jacob Lustig-Yerga shared with reporters that he believes we have only just begun to explore the potential of the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST. 
He expressed his opinion that there is still much to be discovered and learned with this incredible instrument. When the design process for the Webb telescope began, there were only a few known exoplanets, and the device was not designed specifically for discovering new ones. However, thanks to its advanced optics and ability to separate light by wavelength, the telescope has become an important tool for studying planets and potential planetary candidates that have already been identified by scientists. To detect atmospheres on several Earth-sized rocky exoplanets, Lustig Jürger's team utilized the near-infrared spectrograph, near-spec instrument of the Webb telescope. One of the main targets was LHS-475b, also known as GJ-4102b, a planet that was previously identified by NASA's Planet Hunting Test Mission, which was launched in April 2018. Initially, LHS-475b was not a confirmed planet, but rather a potential candidate. However, the Webb telescope was able to detect it after only two transits of the exoplanet in front of its star, which is testament to its reputation as the largest and most advanced space observatory currently in operation. According to Lustig Jürger, these remarkable findings have helped to confirm and authenticate the discovery of this Earth-sized exoplanet. The first observational results from an Earth-sized rocky planet open the door to many future possibilities for studying rocky planet atmospheres with Webb, Mark Clampin, director of NASA's Astrophysics Division, said in a statement. Webb is bringing us closer and closer to a new understanding of Earth-like worlds outside the solar system, and the mission is only just getting started. The Webb telescope's data is more than just confirmation that the exoplanet exists. The observations provide significant evidence of the telescope's ability to detect the types of gases that surround planets in other star systems. This is vital information that helps us understand the characteristics of a planet. During a press conference, Listig Jürger explained that detailed characterization of exoplanet atmospheres will be crucial for the search for life on other planets in the years and decades to come. Listig Jürger's team monitored LHS 475b as it passed in front of its host star twice. The planet orbits a red dwarf star every two days. The first transit occurred on August 31, 2022, while the second one happened four days later, on September 4. During the 40-minute transits, the team recorded that the planet blocked 0.1% of the star's light. Using this information, they calculated that the planet is almost the same size as Earth, with a diameter that's about 99% of Earth's. In order to gain more insight into the atmosphere of LHS-475b, the team merged data from two transits to form one transmission spectrum. However, they did not find any molecules in sufficient quantities to be detected by the Webb telescope. Nonetheless, this may change in the future as more data is collected and analyzed. The telescope is so sensitive and the data are so precise that we could have easily detected several different molecules, but we don't see much yet. Kevin Ortiz Celebris, a graduate student at the Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics in Massachusetts, who performed one of the three independent data analyses, said in a statement. That's it for today. Subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell.